What's up everybody, my name is Sebastian and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking all about keyframes, what they are, how they use them and of course a few examples. But first, let's roll the intro. We'll see us in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, open up DaVinci Resolve, create a new project and drop in some media. As you can see, I got my logo here, a picture and a clip which we will come later to but now let's start what are keyframes keyframes are just a smart way to tell your program or your system that you want something animated at a specific time and end the animation at a specific time the animations you can do are pretty much unlimited let's just check this picture and go to the inspector tab go to transform and all of those nodes are keyframes that means you can animate all of them cropping you can animate all of them you can composite animate this you can animate the opacity. You can animate the lens correction and yeah, retime and scaling. So wherever you see those diamond nodes, these are keyframe nodes, means you can animate this. Let's just start basic. You see, I got my logo above my picture. Let's say this is my intro and I want my logo to fly in the frame. But how do we do this? You see my logos above the picture. I just get a click on my logo to highlight it and then go to the inspector tab and go to position X, position Y and go to the beginning of our timeline because I want it to fly in means it has to be outside of the frame on the beginning. How do we do this? It's just simple, go to position X and drag it to the left or drag it to the right. If you wanna fly, if you want it to fly in from the right, you have gotta drag it to the right. If you wanna fly it in to uh, from the left you gotta drag it to the left but we can also leave it in the middle where it is like that and let's say you want to fly it in from below boom you just drag the y to the left and you want to fly it in from above you just drag it to the right just that it's outside of the frame and it can't be seen on the beginning of your timeline let's just reset this so let's say i want mine to fly in from left to right and stop right in the middle how do we do this is drag this outside of the frame position x but if i play it now nothing happens and why is that that's because we didn't tell the system that we wanted to fly in. So how do we do this? Is go to position X and Y and you see this diamond node. Click it. If you've clicked it, it turns red, which means the keyframe is active. Now let's say I want this inside at two seconds. You can see this right here. I want it inside in the middle of the frame at two seconds. So how do we do this? Is go to position, type in 0, 0.0 which means it is in the middle of the frame. On the Y, X, we didn't change anything, so it just stays the same. So let's go back and rewatch this. You see, my logo flies in there. Let's say my logo is too big. Okay, I want this to be smaller, but I want it to get smaller as it flies in. So we go back to the beginning and we got zoom, X and Y. These are linked. You can unlink them, but I wouldn't recommend it. So what we're gonna do now is we want it big at the beginning, but 
at the end we want it small. So either we can go here to two seconds or which is the easier way, we got our keyframe already set here on the position X and Y. So what we got, got to do now is zoom X and Y and keyframe this. So the system or the program knows that we want to do something on the zoom X on the zoom X. So then just click the arrow to the right on position X and Y. So it jumps right on the keyframe so we can match our keyframes and just zoom out or zoom in to whatever you want. I want my logo to become smaller at the end. So I'll just zoom out a little. And let's say I want my logo right of this size. Go back and boom, your logo is flying in and gets smaller over time until it hits the end, our end point. But let's say we want to get a like cinematic black bars on top and on the bottom. How do we do this? You can animate them as well, which is called cropping. You crop bottom and crop top. I wouldn't recommend to crop your image. Let's say we do this with an adjustment layer and just crop the adjustment layer. So let's go to the effects library. The drop down menu opens, which you can see right here. I'm in titles. Let's go to effects and drag the adjustment clip right on our timeline. So now we see this is flying in, but I want my black bars, the size I want them to be at two seconds where my logos at the position I want it to be. Let's highlight adjustment clip, go to the beginning of your timeline, go to cropping, activate the crop top and crop bottom, and then just go to two seconds where I want the animation to end. That's it's right here. And I want it to crop to 100 and the bottom as well, 100. So what this does is this will put some black bars in. So this looks just a little bit better, but keep in mind, this is just basic keyframing. All right, let's get a little more advanced and let's go to our clip. Let's say you want, you want to make a tutorial or whatever you want, and you want to try to highlight what you're doing. I want my cursor to be highlighted. So what I have to do now is I, obviously I got to zoom in and obviously I got to change the position to follow the cursor. Let's just make them both red. Now zoom in and now go back to our cursor, which is right there. Let's say I don't want this to be shown. So this is fine. Let's go a little forward. So now right here, uh, where was it? Right, right there. I want my X X to be right this, and it will automatically create a new keyframe because you've already keyframed it at the beginning. So let's just get ahead. So my pop-up window is in the top left corner. So we got to go there now. Got to create a new keyframe, which will automatically be created. So there's the end screens. Now I got to go up a little bit. So there you see, but I got to zoom out to make it fit. Then we get a adjusted. And this just looks good to me. So let's go a little forward. You see, we're tracking our cursor. So 
So let's just watch this back. And what I've just done is tracking my cursor. And you can track whatever you want within your clips. Just to demonstrate what you can do with keyframing. Obviously, this is not perfect because this was just a what one minute and I've done it. If you take more time, the result will get better, which is with everything in life. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you've gotten value out of it. And if so, please consider liking and subscribing because I've got a few other tutorials upcoming in the future. But for now, have a great weekend. See you. Bye.